virus total, it wakes up with artificial intelligence. Hey, Tony, um, you have a story about virus total uh, collaborating with the Cynet from, uh, I think, improved security solutions. Do you want to elaborate a little bit on the story? There was a news article that came out that Virus Total made the announcement that they're going to integrate their solution with SciNet. And basically, the one function, uh, mainly Sci AI. Now, for those people that are watching that may not be familiar with Virus Total, it is a, a free platform where you can go, go online to it and submit files or URLs. And Virus Total will literally scan it. Uh, bash it against up to 70 different AV scanners. So it, it really gives you a lot of information about those files or the URL and any sort of nefarious behavior behind it. So it's a very versatile tool for threat analytics and various analysts. But what's, what's happening here is uh, they're going to introduce Sci AI, And with that, they're going to plug in a whole new level of machine learning and artificial intelligence into what they're currently doing today. Now, with Sci AI and SciNet, it's a twofold environment. So right now, uh, SciNet has a bunch of different endpoints that they have out there. It's, it's a product, and it does a bunch of different things for whoever is using it. So there's, there's a little bit of orchestration in there. Um, it looks at fileless malware, scripts, really anything that is uh, uh, nefarious behavior for an endpoint. On top of that, it introduces this AI function that has a very low false positive rate. It's currently gobbling up numerous data sets out there, and the AI engine is growing. So with introducing that into virus total, you're going to get a whole new level of understanding on what you're submitting, uh, you're going to get uh, more accurate data. In addition to that, since this is core AI, it's not what some of the other vendors that are currently in Virus Total, where they they're an endpoint solution, they're a security control, and they have mach machine learning and AI involvement. SciNet is core AI, so you're going to get a tremendous amount of learning. It's going to start understanding. It's going to pick up user behavior. A lot of different things that maybe some of the endpoint scanners that Virus Total currently has isn't, you know, up up to the same speed or same level as Sci AI. So this is really going to be um, a very interesting turn on how we're going to see data coming back from from Virus Total. So it's it's definitely something that uh, once I read it, I was really excited about. Um, you know, we use it uh, to, to do all sorts of different analytics, and seeing that it's going to evolve even more is, is definitely going to be something that I'm looking forward to and the people that, that I know are looking forward to as well. So, yeah, it was, it was a really good article. I definitely would recommend uh, picking it up. Uh, you can go to the Virus Total blog as well as uh, a lot of the different uh, news media outlets that deal with cybersecurity have also picked up on this. I think there's a lot of excitement in, in the cybersecurity field about this, this integration between SciNet and uh, VirusTotal. I'm sure excited uh, when I read that about this article, uh, because I think it kind of uh, gives analysts like us uh, like um, quick response times because of the machine learning and artificial intelligence. I think. Uh, especially finding out in any zero days, any new um, spam campaign. I think uh, that will help tremendously in one way to figure it out what's going on, something is not right here. And maybe yeah. I think a sign it will definitely complement the virus stuff. So. Absolutely. Um, I digging in the virus total uh, for many, many years now, uh, mm -hmm. the, the data that you can pull out from it um, I'm, I'm interested to see what, uh, what the Sci AI, the, the SciNet stuff, what sort of IOCs it's going to come up with, how it's going to determine if something's uh, nefarious or not. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with it myself. You know, Tony, I know you talked about SciNet and, and Sci AI. 
we, I know virus total, like you said, is, is either free or if you're a partner, sometimes they'll charge you a certain amount of money, um, you know, or you, you join, right? Um, mm -hmm. Is there a charge for the CII add-on or is it just part of the normal service? That's a really good question, John. Unfortunately, I did not uncover any information that says mm -hmm. that it would be for uh, paid subscriptions or anything okay. like that. What I, what I read, basically said it's just going to be an integration. So I'm going to read into that, and my fingers are going to be crossed for it, that it's going to be free for all. Yeah, now, now, as for when it's coming out, um, that wasn't stated in, in the articles that I read, but I'm sure it's out there. Uh, looking mm -hmm. at uh, Virus Total blog, uh, it didn't state it specifically either. It okay. actually was uh, like a couple paragraphs about the features and functionality of SciNet and mm -hmm. SciAI, but it didn't give me a release date. Yeah. I feel like a virus total fanboy now. When's it coming <laughs> out?